For me, the most important thing about City College is that it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. It's that if you can do the work, people here are willing to help you and you will succeed. The Grove School of Engineering is located on a 36-acre campus in Manhattan, surrounded by some of this country's earliest and most beautiful Gothic architecture. It is part of a proud heritage of engineering at the City College of New York, dating back to 1853. The Grove School of Engineering is the first public institution of its kind, boasting six nationally recognized engineering departments. Biomedical, chemical, civil, computer, electrical, mechanical. Our programs are highly selective. We prepare our students for the real-world challenges of engineering, offering a broad range of degree programs encompassing emerging new disciplines. Undergraduate, Bachelors of Engineering. Graduate, Masters of Engineering. Doctor of Philosophy, Engineering. We offer a first-class engineering program taught by world-renowned faculty using state-of-the-art facilities. It's not surprising that more than 50% of the students admitted to the CCNY Honors Program select engineering as their desired field of study. Our faculty is acclaimed for their outstanding research and teaching ability. As a student in the Grove School of Engineering, you will interact with some of the brightest minds in the field today. Like Professor Riza Kanbilvardi, who was developing techniques to transform once unobtainable satellite data into information that will help monitor the environment, predict national disasters, and estimate its impact long term. Our new satellite receiving station makes CUNY one of the few universities in the country capable of downloading and processing this data. We have more than 45 scientists and faculty that they are involved in different projects with uh, National Ocean and Atmospheric Agency as well as NASA. This is a very multidisciplinary activity. It involves experts from different fields to be able to communicate with each other and build a model that works. And the graduate students as well as graduate students can benefit from this facility and these research capabilities. Who knew four years ago that CUNY will be one of the powerhouse in remote sensing. Or Professor Daniel D. McCracken, who in 1957 authored the first groundbreaking computer programming textbook. One of the exciting things about computer science is there's so many things you can do with it. Uh, students can go out and do what most people think of as computer science, programming, developing applications and all that, and our students do, but it can also be combined with a lot of other fields. One of the things I love about, about teaching at City College is the extreme diversity of student backgrounds come from all over the world, there's something like 50 languages spoken on campus. I love the fact that I'm constantly having to learn new things with them, it just makes things fun. Or Professor Sheldon Weinbaum, who has been in the forefront of research in fluid dynamic and transport aspects of arterial diseases. His studies have delved into the effects of bioheat transfer as it relates to microvascular blood tissue, muscle, and kidney function. Biomedical engineering is seen by many people as the coming field in the first half of the 21st century. Most important in development of the program has been the establishment of the New York Center for Biomedical Engineering. This is a consortium with eight of the premier health care institutions in New York City. There is no other program in the country that has used the resources of an entire city of this size to put together a research program for both undergraduates and graduates. Students live and work in state-of-the-art facilities, which are now expanding with two new science buildings and a new dorm. They have round-the-clock access to labs filled with modern equipment, computers, and the necessary software to complete their work. Close relationships with faculty and fellow students are fostered by a wide range of activities like Janus, where civil engineering students implement classroom theories by designing, constructing, and racing a concrete canoe in an annual competition against other United States engineering schools. Or become a part of Engineers Without Borders and support the CCNY chapter as they travel to northern Honduras in their effort to develop a water collection, distribution, and purification system for the remote village of Omoa. The results are real. 
CCNY graduates are Nobel laureates, leaders in their field, carrying on a tradition of excellence. And the next critical step to secure its future has been made with the donation of $26 million by Andrew Grove, founder and former chairman of Intel and School of Engineering graduate. Now named the Grove School of Engineering at CCNY, we are a hidden treasure where you'll find a dedicated faculty, a curriculum that is ahead of the curve, a diverse student body, and supportive alumni who recognize that the root of success lies in giving back. The Grove School of Engineering at CCNY.